Hi everyone, Shannon here with Mixed Media Minnesota. And today I thought I would bring you guys along. I'm working on putting um, my next journal together. And so I will show you where I'm at with it. Um, I created the cover with cardboard Tyvek envelope and this is wallpaper that I covered it in. And so that's good and dry. And so I'm gonna go ahead and finish the inside and then sew the signature in. I'm a little bit nervous about that. I've never sewed a signature in on camera before. And also, um, new to me, I ordered this from um, Crafty Cat USA. It's a, a book cradle to bind books. I've never used it. So I'm excited to give it a try and hopefully it all goes well. So let's get the inside going here. Um, the digital kit that I'm using um, in this journal is Feather Blossoms. Um, that kit was created by Mary in Mixed Media Minnesota. Um, it's in their Etsy shop, so you can find it there. Um, and I'll show you that when we put the signature in. I am using, I cut one page, one of the pages I cut to put on the inside here. So that was one of the pages in the kit. And I cut it so that I could put that on my sides. And then I just cut some fabric that I thought would work in here. And I'm just going to attach that down the spine. Um, so let's go ahead and do that so that it has a little bit of time to set up here. I'm just going to use Fabri-Tac. And I'm going to stick that in there. I didn't go all the way to the bottom with the fabric. Um, you can. You can go all the way around if you would like. I may want to put lace on the back of the spine or leave it. I'm not sure yet. So I'm just going to do the inside part. If I want to add more to it later, I can. Okay, so I'm just going to stick that in there. piece of string there. Okay, so I hope you all had a good weekend. I did. It was kind of nice outside so we got to enjoy some time outside and we were able to have a fire the other night, a bonfire, so that was fun. Okay, so the plan is to just put these in here and you're only going to see a little bit of this fabric. So I'm just going to Go ahead and glue those in. I did ink the edges of this and I used, um, let's see here, I used um, Ranger's Distress Oxide in Victorian Velvet. It's kind of pinky looking. So I edged that in there. I did ink the envelopes that I'm going to put. Um, my plan is I cut the end, it's just a couple envelopes that I had, and I trimmed the end and put a little. Um, punch in there and the plan is to have those in there so that the inside and the back cover will have a flip pocket and then we can decorate on the inside here so I have one for each side so before I glue this one down I should probably glue the back of this okay so I'm just gonna use art glitter glue and I'm just going to Glue that in. So we had, yeah, in Minnesota we had kind of a nice weekend. Um, yesterday it wasn't so nice. Saturday was, Friday night and Saturday was. And yesterday it got windy and cold. And now today there's snowflakes. I'm so sick of snow. This winter has seemed to drag on, drag on for so long. Just cannot wait for it to be sunny and I don't know. I like the heat, so bring on 85. I, I don't mind. I'm sick of wind, actually. It's been really windy here. But I was able to get a little bit of raking and stuff done. I didn't uncover my flower beds yet. Um, I'm just chomping at the bit to get that done. I, want, I know some of them are poking up in there, but I knew this week was going to be cold, yet I think today's high is 35. 
Um, so I figure after this week, I'm gonna un I'm gonna rake them off and uncover them. Um, I did one year. I did it way too early, and it kind of stunted them. The whole year, they didn't really get that big or anything. So, so I'm just waiting because I don't want to do that again. But I'm I'm very impatient. I keep telling myself the day will come, <laughs> and summer will come. Over the weekend, I was able to um, put the the next our our May monthly kit together, and I'm super excited. Um, that one is gonna be available in uh, Mixed Media Minnesota's Etsy shop on Wednesday, the 21st of April. So, I'm really excited about about this kit. I'm gonna have to keep one so I can play with it this time. I think. Okay, another thing that I was looking at, let's see, did I put that upside down? No, okay. Another thing that I, I seen is we're almost to 400 subscribers on the YouTube channel, so when I get to 400 subscribers, I'm gonna do a giveaway, and we're close, so share this video with your crafty friends, and um, I'm putting together a prize to mail out. Um, we'll do some kind of a, something for the giveaway probably a video or something that you can comment on. So we're close, I think we're 20, I'm not sure, 25, 26 maybe away. Okay, I'm struggling. We still have the challenge going on, or not challenge, I'm sorry, the giveaway, the customer appreciation giveaway is, is still going on for the month of April. So anybody that has made a purchase in Mixed Media Minnesota, you are entered. Um, my bin of names is getting pretty full and I'm excited on May 1st, um, right here on my YouTube channel, I'm gonna draw um, the winner for that. And that's a 60 day free access to all of our digitals. So I'm excited about that. Just feel like we have so much stuff going on here. It's exciting. I hope I almost put that upside down. That would not be cool. Okay, this way. <laughs> okay, I'm just trying to line it up with the bottom of the other one. That's close. This is a little crooked, but it's it is what it is now. It's stuck in there. But it'll be okay when we decorate it and stuff. I wanted to stitch around these and I forgot, but they're in there now, so we'll stitch around the journal cards or something maybe. Okay, so our inside is put together. I'm gonna That fabric in there, I got it a little thick here. I need to. Give that a good crease. I'm gonna have to clamp it for a day or so. Okay, so there we have the inside cover. Okay, so I'm gonna put my glue away. And now I'm going to show you, so this was one of the pages in the Feather Blossoms digital um, that we put on the inside cover. And then I'll show you the other ones here. Um, I have the ephemera, I didn't cut that apart yet. 
Okay, so this is a page. I'm just going to flip through this. This is one of the pages in there. You'll see the other side when we... It's got a cute little nest. When we flip through. So this is a signature I put together. This is just a little page from a, like a, a note calendar thing. Um, and that's dyed. And then there's copy dyed ledger paper. And this is cabbage dyed. And this is another page in the kit. So that would be the front and the back. I printed these on ivory, um, ivory colored paper. So the backs are ivory. I did trim the edges off of the kit pages as well. So here's that ivory. And here's a coffee dyed paper with some doily pattern in it. Um, so another page in the kit here, in the Feather Blossoms kit. And this is a, a lighter piece of the cabbage dyed paper. Okay, let's see. It's another page in the kit. Some copy dyed graph paper. Another page in the kit. Those pretty butterflies in the crackle like chipped paint. I love it. So pretty. Some more coffee dyed paper. Some music paper. And this one's not coffee dyed or anything. It's um it's just an old vintage music book. That I pulled it out of. This is just a little page out of a magazine. It had some flowers on it, so it had, it's actually like wedding bouquets. But I thought they were pretty, and so I thought I would put those in there. And then another page from the kit, and that's gonna be the center of our signature. So, let's see if I can get this back together. Okay, and then I'll show you the ephemera pages that come along with the digital. So here's like a, a flip pocket envelope. Like I said, I didn't cut these out yet. I'll have to cut them out. And then here's a couple of pockets. And a bunch of tickets and some ephemera we can fussy cut. And, so, and some banners. Those will be fun for tuck spots and different things. So... Okay, so we're gonna attempt. We're gonna attempt to stitch this in. I'm nervous about this. I hope it hope it all goes well. I watched so many other videos of people using it, and I was gonna use it a couple times before showing it. I'm like, no, because what if what if it goes great the first time, you know? And everything has a learning curve, so I mean, it's supposed to make it a lot easier. It looks like it makes it a lot easier. I, I sometimes struggle. I'm just trying to center the signature in the book cover here. I want to get the fold of my paper, of my signature, right in the crease of the cover. So I'm just going to go ahead and put those in there. And I just kind of push down on it and hold it in there. And then grab it. Okay. And two more clips here. Okay, so I feel like I have that in there pretty well. So then we set that in the cradle, and I did not grab my stuff here. Yeah, I got this one. Okay. Now I'm going to have to stand up for this, so if my head gets on the camera, I'm going to apologize right now. Um, I have my needle. Okay, so we put this in the center, and we hold it in there, and I'm just going to eyeball. I don't know if you guys can see this. I hope you can. I'm going to eyeball the center. Okay. And now I'm going to go, I don't know, inch, inch and a half in. 
And then I'm going to do the same thing on the other side, about an inch, inch and a half. And I'm sorry if it's really loud. My face is right by the camera here. Okay. So let's see. How did we do? Wow, it's right in the crease. That definitely, definitely made that easier, that part of it. Wow. Definitely check this out. Um, it's... I believe it's made on a 3D printer, and it's it's got this little little groove in here, so your all goes in there, and you know we push your center in there. So, oh, that's a game changer. <laughs> so head on over to Crafty Cat USA and check that out, because that was the first time I've ever attempted using it, and it was slick. Okay, so I don't know if I do mine a little differently. I, I double my thread, and I always cut extra, so I have tons here. It makes kind of a knotted up mess sometimes, but then I come from the inside, and I go through. Okay, I hope I didn't just move everything. I think I might have. Okay, there we are. And I pull that through. This is like canvas thread. It's really, really thick. They use it on like boat covers and tents, that kind of thing. So I still like to double it, but then I come back up in the bottom. Okay. So I pull that all the way through and I kind of try and keep my tail here toward the bottom. So sometimes if I'm able to, I hold it. And then, I don't know if this is how everybody else does it, but I go up through the top. And I pull that. And then, this is the trickiest part for me. I come back in the center. And sometimes it doesn't, you don't want to get, you don't want to poke your thread. And that, okay, so that one worked. Okay, so then what I do is I want this my tail and my needle side to be on opposite sides of that center of the string. So, and I'm not, so I'm gonna go ahead and put this on the other side here of it. Okay, and then I'm gonna trim this needle off. So now I have the two ends here. And I just take them and I kind of check and make sure it's tight on the back and I just give them a, a tug here and I kind of wrap my fingers around it and if one of my kids or somebody's home a lot of times I'll steal their finger to hold there <laughs> I don't know if it really makes a difference but it makes me feel better and then I give that a tug and then before I do the second one I take one side of my clamps off I don't always do this but I curious to see if it's you know if it's tight in there and it feels like it is so then I go ahead and I knot it one or two more times if I can grab both strings here so I'm gonna go ahead and put another knot in there pulling that tight and then I, I always go this way then on the last one I go the opposite way I don't know if that makes a difference or not I just do that pull that tight and then, so there we have it. And I just leave these hanging, and then I can trim them later. But let's see how we did. Okay. I like to grab it, the whole signature here. And it's really snug. Like, it doesn't twist or anything. So I'm really happy with that. Okay, so our signature is in there. And I'm gonna clamp this one for a day or so. Just I have that, that fabric in there, and um, when I'm making, it's an, a good thing for me to know because it's a little snugger than I, I would like. It will it will be fine. But when I'm making the covers, I make them with the cardboard and the tie back. And when that happens, then I know I didn't leave a big enough, you know, a little. I try and leave a little tiny crease between the two cardboards. So, yeah, that's really snug in there. So now I know when I when I go and make my next one, leave a little bit bigger gap in there. It was fine until I put the fabric in there. It folded up, but, I mean, it's still okay. So we have that sewn in there. 
and then it's going to be fun to come back and decorate it, decorate this and stuff. So we have our flippies on there. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed that um, video. Um, next time we come back and maybe we'll be decorating in it, um, get that decorated. I'm going to go ahead and clamp this here. I shouldn't have put my clamps away. And I'm just going to pinch it on the top here and on the bottom as well and then on the on the spine side I'm gonna put a couple on there I just want it to close a little better but there okay well I hope you guys enjoyed that um, go ahead and, and check out Crafty Cat USA this thing is great um, so I hope you guys have a good rest of your day and thank you for watching and we'll see you soon.